Okay, everyone, we are gonna get the carpet ready to power wash it. You might wanna turn your sound down because it's about to get loud. Um, so you got a few seconds to get that down before the power washer turns on. Get ready to wash that carpet. Trying to get that power washer back on, it's giving us a little technical difficulties. Make sure if you're going to power wash out in the sun that you are wearing at least minimum a hat or something to protect your face and forehead from the sun. Alright, we're about to do it.
soaked it real good, we're gonna wash. I mean, we're gonna rinse with the power. goggles which you really should wear goggles when you're doing work like this to protect your eyes but now I'm going to rinse this carpet and hope that we get it back to the state that I need it slightly overheated from the sun so if you guys are going to power wash your carpet in the sun I want you to break it up into multiple times you know take breaks in between so you don't get heat exhaustion
because I feel like bugs are getting on me.
washer literally ran out of uh, gas. But hey, perfect timing. I think we're done. Um, so, whew, it's hot out here. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so yeah. Remember, wear a hat if you do this. How do you think it looks? I'm looking in the camera. It looks good. I mean, I am hoping that this is a really successful wash. I had already power washed in the grass one time last week. It still smelled like dog pee pee. And uh, that means carpet and garbage, right? So I want to give it another shot because, you know, economically, I'm not doing so good. So I need to try to stretch all my products out. And so I am power washing it again. And I'm determined in my heart and mind that I'm going to get rid of the dog pee smell. Please send me good wishes and, and hope that that happens. Oh my God. I need these carpets to come back inside. If this works with this carpet, then I'll definitely be pulling out um, slowly uh, the other two carpets, even though they didn't really get it as bad. There was a few little spots, but I've decided I'm like, well, what's the harm in just making them all new? You know what I mean? If this works. So there's Cole and Belle chilling out over there like they always do because right now it's uh, time for cars to go by and bicycles to go by and golf carts and whatever goes by in the water that we own across there. Uh, we get, you know, foot traffic. People are going by it Saturday. So uh, the dogs enjoy just barking everybody's head off. That's where we are. All right, so let's take a closer look at it now that I can move the camera around a little bit. I'm so hot right now, I need something to drink really, really bad. Oh, my arm is shaking. Okay. So I think we did a really good job. Like I say, it was mainly like pee. You know, there were a couple little spots where when I was feeding them, they were doing their little, they missed the puppy pad and they decided to try to get on the puppy pad and as they would spin around, they would end up off the puppy pad so they get on the carpet. That wasn't too bad. That's actually, it's funny, but I'm noticing that it's so much easier to clean up um, poop when it comes to a pet most of the time than it is to clean up pee. You know, pee just like soaks in and spreads and ooh. So um, the pee is really what we were trying to get out of the carpet and it was the only thing that we were smelling in the carpet because I have a steam cleaner and I was working on steam cleaning and everything. Um, so, you know, that part was gone. There was no hint that that was there. It's just the pee, unfortunately. Um, so I would say that we have probably solved that problem. I feel like my face, ooh, yeah, my face is probably beet red. I've always been sensitive to, to very hot environments like my grandmother. I got that from my grandmother. Um, it skipped my mom's generation, I guess, and went to me. I tend to get very affected by certain temperatures, and my face will get red, my hands will swell. You know, I just get really, really dehydrated, and I'm on some medicine right now. The doctor has me on that uh, makes me even more dehydrated. So I'm feeling dehydrated. <laughs> I'm feeling like I need to drink some water or something. Um, so, all right, guys, I power washed that for you. Uh, I struggled. I got my new tripod. And it got this tablet on it and I was trying so hard to get the perfect video I don't know if I did so really at this point I just felt like you know I told everybody I was gonna do this and I wanted to keep my promise so it was more important to me that um, I just get you that video than to lose this opportunity of getting the video and it's okay that it's not perfect and this is just I mean this is real life like this is my real life okay so you're really seeing truth. You're not seeing a lot of, you know, a fake fluff or extra perfect things. You're seeing like natural form of my life. And really that's my intention with my channel is that you be a part of my everyday life for what is really real. Do you know what I mean? So if you like that about my channel or you just discovered me and you're going to enjoy that about my channel, please like and subscribe. Subscribing will help me grow. Liking will help me grow. Um, if you think my channel... Um, is worth gaining popularity. I beg you, I beg you. I'm nicely begging. Yes, please like and subscribe and help me grow. I'm working so hard to just do everything real and natural and show you what it's like to live in my real life. Um, 
but I'm DIYing my real life. So I'm doing everything myself. Do it yourself, my real life. And I just did myself, washed the carpet with a power washer. So that's DIY for you. All right, guys, I had a good time. I'm hoping I'm not going to pass out from heat exhaustion. Please pray for me on that part. Uh, or pray to the cat gods that I don't pass out from heat exhaustion. Ooh, I'm hot. All right, like and subscribe. Bell and Cole say goodbye. Car going by. Let's see if we can catch the dogs misbehaving. Oh, that's abnormal for them. That's abnormal for them, guys. That means they're hot and overheated, too. Because they usually bite people's heads off when they drive by. That's just what Belle likes to do, and she's taught Cole to do it. All right, so again, like and subscribe. Support my channel. Look for my next videos. Tell me videos you'd like to see in um, Do It Myself Roll Life. Uh, let me know, and I'm excited to be here with you. This is a great Saturday. Bye. And what we're doing right now is we rolled this up, and we're trying to squeeze some water out of it, which that actually wasn't the initial uh, reason. We were going to roll it up and put it on the deck so we can mow and not get dirt and crap on the clean carpet. But this is actually working to get out more water and soap, and I'm seeing a lot of soap here, so that's interesting. Hopefully the carpet's not going to be too soapy, but will that just dry? Will the soap just dry? I'm asking you a question. Will the soap yeah. just dry, you think? It'll be okay? We're off to rinse it again. What do you think? Are you even going to be able to pick this carpet up or is it going to be too heavy? I can't hear your responses. I can get it. You think you can get it? Yeah. All right, let's get this carpet picked up. Okay, so here's the carpet now. We put the carpet up on the deck. So a lot of water got squeezed out by rolling it up and doing that. And now we're going to let it dry here because we're going to mow and we don't want to get a lot of dirt right now while it's wet on the carpet. And then what will happen later is when I go to put the carpet inside, if I approve that I've done the job I wanted to do, then we are just going to vacuum off any little outside debris that we got going on right now. Right now I have smelled the carpet and it smells way better. Um, I don't smell any sign of puppy pee, um, but we're going to see once it's dry. And I'm super excited to see that I have salvaged this carpet from Cold Baby's puppies. And we shall see, guys. Awesome.